In section 9.2, we just want to work on some of the basics of matrices. So how do we indicate entries? Uh, what, how do we know if two matrices are the same? How do we add them? How do we subtract them? How do we find scalar multiples of them? So first thing is this notation for the entries in a matrix. So what we do um, is we write a subscript on um, a letter, the lowercase letter that corresponds with the capital letter of the matrix's name. The first number means uh, the row position and the second number means the column position. So um, this matrix A, if we wanted the entry in the first row, second column, then that would be five, right? Because that's what's in the first row, second column. If we looked at the entry in the third row, second column, oh, that would also be five. Um, entry in the third row, third column, third row, third column would be right here, right? negative three. Or if the matrix has a different name, usually if the names of a matrix are in uppercase and so for an individual entry we'll use the lowercase. So um, in this case if we wanted um, B23 then that would be the entry in the second row, third position, third column. So that would be three in this case. Um, when you have two matrices, if they're equal, they're only going to be equal if all of the corresponding entries are equal. So in this case, 3 and negative x would have to be the same thing. 2y and negative 6 would have to be the same thing. Each entry in the corresponding place, each, each, each pair of entries in corresponding places have to be the same. So um, in this matrix, we could actually solve for x, y, and z because we would know that negative x needs to be 3, so x has to be negative 3. And the second entries tell us that 2y has to be negative 6, so y also needs to be negative 3. Um, and then those two entries, 3 is the same, but we have that x plus y has got to be 4z. So x plus y, since x is negative 3 and y is negative 3, that's got to be 4z. So we have 4z is negative 6, so z would be negative 6 over 4, or negative 2 thirds. So just got to remember that if two matrices are going to be equal, each of their entries have to be equal. Of course, two matrices can't be equal if they have different dimensions. And remember, when we talk about the dimensions of a matrix, we always call out the number of rows first and the number of columns second. So if you want to add two matrices, they have to be the same size as well. So these two matrices this first one is a 2 by 2, but the second one is a 3 by 3, so that's not going to work, right? So if we're supposed to add those two matrices, we'll just have to say uh, doesn't exist, right? Or maybe a better way to say that would be it's not defined. Because we only know how to ma add matrices that have the same dimensions. The second pair, though, we have a 3 by 3 plus a 3 by 3, so since the dimensions match, then for each entry in the first matrix, there's a corresponding entry in the second matrix. And all we'll do is just add up those corresponding entries. So negative 3 plus negative 4 would be negative 7. If I add the two entries in the first row, second column, 5 plus negative 8 would be negative 3. 1 and negative 3 would be negative 2. And I'll just go along like this. Negative 8 and 5 would be negative 3. 2 and 0 would be 2. 4 and negative 6 would be negative 2, 4 and negative 3 would be 1, 5 and 4 would be 9, and negative 3 and negative 1 would be negative 4. So adding matrices, matrices is really simple. As long as they're the same size, um, you just add the corresponding entries. Subtracting works the same way as well. If they're the same size, then you can just subtract the entries. Now in this case we have a 2 by 2 because there's two rows and two columns, but the second one is a 2 by 3 because it has two rows and three columns. So um, that's not going to work. So if someone asks us to subtract these matrices, we'll just say that's not defined. Okay, but this pair works. We have a 2 by 2 minus a 2 by 2. And to subtract two matrices, you just subtract the corresponding entries. So 7 minus 2 would be 5. 3 minus minus 1 would be 4. 1 minus 5 would be negative 4, and negative 2 minus 9 would be negative 11. So pretty simple to subtract as well, just subtract corresponding entries. Um, you can also um, uh, find a scalar multiple of a matrix. All you have to do is just scalar each entry. So if we had this matrix 
1, 2, 4, negative 3, 1, 5. And we wanted to multiply it by a single number, like by 7. Then we would just multiply each corresponding entry by 7. Kind of like how we just scaled vectors as well. So 7 times 4 would be 28. 7 times negative 3 would be negative 21. 7 times 1 would be 7. 7 times 5 is 35. All right, so we can add, subtract, and scale matrices. So we can find all sorts of combinations of matrices. Here's, here's one example. Um, they have some stuff off the uh, nutrition label for three uh, breakfast cereals, um, Kix, Quick Oats, and Muesli, and they want us to write a one by three matrix for each of those cereals that represents the nutrition content of each one. So we could write K is 110, and then a little space 2, and then 40, and the Quick Oats Q, there's 100 calories in every serving, but it has 4 grams of protein and 100 milligrams of potassium. So we can just use a matrix to track these things. See, for muesli, there's 120 calories, 3 grams of protein, and 115 milligrams of potassium. So if for every cereal we put the corresponding entries, right, the calories in the same place, the protein in the same place, and uh, the potassium in the same place, then we could work with these matrices. For example, um, if we have our, our matrices again, and they ask us to find um, 2K plus 2Q plus 3M, they're saying, well, just scale each of those matrices, right? 2K would be 220, 4, and 2 times 40 would be 80, and 2Q would be 200, 8, and 200, and uh, 3M would be, uh, oops, 3M, 3 times 120 would be um, 360, so we got 360 there, and 3 times 3 would be 9 grams of protein, and 3 times 115 would be 345. So if we add all those up, we just add the corresponding entries, we can see the total number of calories be 220 plus 200 would be 420 um, plus 360 that would make 780 total calories 4 plus 8 would be 12 plus another 9 would make 21 grams of protein and 80 plus 200 would be 280 let's see and then let's see if we add that to 345 then we're gonna get we're we gonna get here 6 625 So, yeah, 625. Okay, the meaning of this would be if I eat two servings of Kix and two servings of um, Quick Oats and, two, two, and three servings of Muesli, then this is the number of calories I'll get, this is how much protein, and this is how much potassium. So matrices could be really useful for keeping track of several quantities at once. So I think that's all you pretty much need to do to do the My Math Lab assignment for 9.2. So. Give it a try and finish it, and um, I will see you on Wednesday.